kwa sasa hivi tunamuona eh, gavana na wageni wake wako kwa harakati za kuingia humu Ladies and gentlemen the governor and his entourage are making their way in As I said earlier they will be received by Makusu dancers We are requesting all those who are not in the governor's entourage to be settled into their seats Wote ambao hawako kwa msafara wa gavana mnaomba kwa heshima na taadhima muweze kuchukua viti vyenu County chief officers County executive committee members you are kindly requested to take your seats Mane yangu nguluvu na mwitozio wewe Tendo viga wote Modula anga banaye Na dula anga banaye Adongwe je vidaye wazaba Adongwe je vidaye Is you requested to take the Mane first row of red seats Mane ya ngulubu na mwitozi yawe anga Tendo viga wote Modula anga banaye natoka Modula anga banaye natoka Modula anda viga na joyo Ene ya ngulubu na mwitozi yawe You mambele ya tunda viga Ene ya ngulubu na mwibaga we anga Tendo viga wote Modula anga banaye natoka Modula anga banaye natoka te mwana modula anga banaye na joyo Angwe je vidaye Atangwe je vidaye Mane ya ngulubu na mwitezi yawe ya Mane ya ngulubu na ditezi yawe ya Tendo viga wote Modula anga banaye na joyo Madula anga banaye na joyo Atangwe je vidaye wazaba Kasi mgeni wetu Mwane wa heshima His Excellency the Governor akiambatana na bwana Peter Ndego ambaye ni mkurugenzi mkuu wa Safaricom Wameweza kuwasili Mwane ya eneo hili Na waona pale Makusu dancers wamechangamka vilivyo Modula anga banaye Modula anga banaye Naibunga anga zabale no bagato bika Naibunga anga zabale no bagato bika Come on anga banaye wakido Modula anga banaye We are now all requested to be upstanding Modula anga banaye Adongwe zye vida wazabale Modongwe zye vida ewe Nane ya ngulubu na mwitezi ya wea Netoli Nane ya ngulubu na mwitezi ya wea Tendo viga wate Modula wenga wanae Modula wenga wanae Otangwe ze vida wazawari The media team is currently settling quickly Nane ya ngulubu na mwitezi ya wea Nane ya ngulubu na mwitezi ya wea Tendo viga wote Modula anga wanae Modula anga wanae Otangwe je vida Otangwe je vida Nane ya ngulubu na mwitezi ya wea Nane ya ngulubu na mwitezi ya wea Tando viga wote Modula anga banaye
basi tumpe gavana makofi for that exemplary dance uh, most welcome your excellency and your guests karibuni sana mukusu dancers makusu dancers sasa mmepewa idhini ya kuweza uh, kuweza kupumzika as we allow our guests uh, to settle into their seats Your Excellency, the Governor, uh, Your Excellency, First Lady, Excellency, Deputy Governor, Bwana Peter Ndegwa, Chief Executive Officer, Safaricom, na team yako, the Right Honorable Speaker of the County Assembly, County Executive Committee members present, County Secretary, County Chief Officers present, Members of the Makweni County Assembly with your leadership, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to welcome you to this uh, auspicious occasion. And to start us off, I want to invite uh, Damaris Macau to give us an opening prayer. Let's believe and pray. We thank you, our Father and God, for this day that you have given us. We thank you for the many gifts that you have bestowed upon us. Thank you for the rains. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of friends and partners that you have continued to shower to us as a county government. This morning we sit here to celebrate what you have done for us in the past. And we also look forward to many things that you have in store for us as a county, even in days to come. Today we thank you for enabling us to come the far that we have come. Even as we launch the digital platform, the My Makweni County app, that will enhance the engagement between us as a government and the people of this great county. That which will also enhance the feedback and the engagement with the, our, our citizens, even from far, even as we look forward to enhancing our revenue collection as a county government. We are committing this exercise into your hands, and we pray that, Lord, you will cause whatever we are doing here today to prosper. When it prospers, the livelihoods of the people of this great county will be transformed, and that is the essence of us as a government the transformation of the livelihoods of the people that we lead, takes lead in this meeting. We ask you to be with us. Thank you for Safaricom that has enabled us, an enabler that will give us even to usher our people into the great opportunities that lie ahead. We ask you to bless us and be with us because we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Tukiwa tumesalia, tumesimama, tutapata wimbo wa taifa kisha tutapata wimbo wa jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki Oh, my God. 
Nilinde jumuiya Afrika Mashariki Tuwezeshe kuishi kwa amani Tutimize na malengo yetu Jumuiya yetu sote tulilinde Tuajibike, tuimarike Umoja wetu ni mbuzo yetu Idu mjumuiya yetu Tunaeza tukaketi Ladies and gentlemen, allow me at this juncture to recognize the presence of Madam P.S. Uh, Terry Mbaika, who is the P.S. for devolution. Allow me also, Excellency, to recognize His Eminence, Archbishop Dr. Timothy Ndambuki of ABC. Allow me to equally recognize Major Kasioka of the Salvation Army. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I wish uh, to kick us off uh, with a very short story. And Your Excellency, you will allow me for making the, <laughs> the protocol a bit easy. I want to read you a short story uh, about our tech journey as a people that is our yesterday, our today, and our tomorrow. Just as we were migrating from oversized clothes is when Kenya was migrating from fixed line telephones to mobile phones. It was a mixture of anxiety and excitement. Interestingly, a single SIM card used to be sold in a tin the size of a cookie jar, but then phones were not affordable. They costed an arm and a leg and were the size of police walkie-talkies. Most of us actually bought SIM cards before we bought the phones. That time, mobile conversations were brief and to the point, unlike now. Airtime wasn't cheap and there were no online calls. An SMS initially cost Kenya shillings 10 to send and we had to travel to every single place from which we needed a service, to the banks, to the market, to the government offices, etc., etc., even to the neighborhoods of the girls we were eyeing, just to go hang around and hope to bump into her and throw your mystery. Phones were analog and did not have internet capabilities. The masses were accessing phones through Simuya Jami initially, and if you wanted anything on the internet, you had to go to a cyber cafe, and even those were few, and browsing was 10 shillings a minute. At times you had to board a matatu to go to a cyber cafe for you to access internet. But then, interestingly, that time, we did not have scandals like leaked nudes and screenshots because there was no WhatsApp, there was no M-Pesa, and there was no free Wi-Fi. So we weren't being plastered. The male gender was not being pestered Kutuma Fair because SMS, the facilitator of Kutuma Fair, was not existing by that time. Then technology kept evolving rapidly and disrupting our otherwise peaceful lives. Much for the better, but then on a light note, you Safaricom people have to figure out a way of closing the customer care center operated by your not so kind contemporaries at committee. They really cause us nuisance with false hopes and irritation, when, especially when they send us fake m -Pesa messages. We get excited and then we get disappointed. With voices hoarse than mine and unrefined tones saying, Tunakupigia kutoka safaricom, 
uh, nimekutumia pesa kimakosa kwa hivyo sasa u reverse anyway that is a story for another day ladies and gentlemen now a smartphone is affordable and is conveniently packed with all the tools that you need for your everyday life from health management applications to mobile wallets and online banking services today here ladies and gentlemen we launch a product that provides optimal convenience efficiency and cost effectiveness a testimony to the digital transformation and the endless opportunities and solutions that technology can provide an interactive platform that provides an all-in-one experience allow me at this juncture ladies and gentlemen to invite the host county executive committee member for education ICT education and internships to give us her opening remarks she will be shortly followed by Moa, a presentation by Moani girls who will in turn be immediately followed by a presentation by the county choir ladies and gentlemen let's put our hands together to, in, to welcome waziri ict education and internships karibu sana waziri Excellency, the Governor Makueni County, Mutula Kilonzo Jr. Your Excellency, the First Lady of Makueni County, Mama Anita Mutula. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, Makueni County, Lucy Mulili. Your Excellency, the County uh, Assembly Speaker, Makueni County, Honorable Douglas Mbilo. The County Commissioner, the CEO of Safaricom, all protocols observed. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Muyasio. Muyasio Inge. You don't look happy. I am beyond thrilled and very excited to welcome you all here today to this auspicious occasion. Today marks a significant milestone in our journey of all continuous transformation and we are so glad that you could join us today to celebrate this milestone and this success together. This launch is a culmination of many months of hard work and dedication, early mornings of late nights for, by various Makueni County staff, supported by a team of experts from Safaricom, stakeholders, and strategic partners who made this possible. They worked tirelessly and ensured that this app meets the highest standards of excellence. For that, I am immensely grateful. Ladies and gentlemen, my task today will be in threefold. First, on behalf of my staff and the team that made this app possible, I would like to extend our sincere gratitude to the Governor, His Excellency Honorable Mutula Kilonzo Jr., your passion to drive innovation, sustainability, and progress in our county played a critical role in the success of this project. The launch of this app puts service delivery in your hands, my fellow Makuenians, and therefore a giant leap towards modernizing our service delivery. Your leadership and vision of creating a vibrant and progressive Makueni County have truly set a benchmark, and one more time, Makueni County has scored a first amongst equals. Not we kuni amokoi. A first among equals. We are the first county in the country to launch this application. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to highlight very briefly the significance of Makueni County application. At its core, this application is designed to deliver quality services to our citizens. I know that many of us have had to navigate a complex and often opaque systems to access government services. By a show of hands, how many here have had to close their businesses to go to the bank to pay for their land rate? By a show of hands, 
I know we are many. This application will solve most of those problems. You don't have to close your businesses. You can pay from the comfort of your phone. This application introduces simplicity to you as a user by giving you the service you need and takes care of the complexities in the background. You no longer have to worry about that. It is also a symbol of our continued commitment as a department to leveraging technology to drive economic growth and development in our county. Remember, ICT is an enabler for every other service we offer as a county. And we shall keep working collaboratively with other departments to ensure that we automate our processes and services as far as possible for the benefit of our people. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, as we launch this application, I hope that you will fully explore the opportunities this service provides. Should you find challenges or even gaps, do not hesitate to flag to us, for that is the only way to jointly test, retest, and mature the system to serve us better for prosperity. With those few remarks, thank you all once again for being part of this historic moment. May God bless you all and welcome to Makueni County. Thank you. Excellency, the governor, uh, the first lady, uh, Safaricom CEO, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. With you, Moeni girls, uh, with a simple message to you, let us go beyond to Inuane and my Safaricom app, and our lives are going to be better in Makueni. Thank you. Karibuni waschana. Last year, we were here. You are there, when you showered Makueni, Tukasema, Mele Iko Sawa, Shwa. This year, we are here, you are near, smiling from ear to ear. We still believe in our governor, His Excellency, MK Junior, Mele Iko Sawa, Shwa. For oh, we can see the future, our future, your future, the future of Makueni. We can see the future. Exciting, tantalizing, mesmerizing. Yes. We look at the camera. Smile at the camera. Wink at the camera. Makueni changamka. Makueni shangilia. Gabana wetu ameamua. Makueni up, tatisimua. Makueni up, tatuinua. Ah. Tuajua wajua. He up. Tatuinua tuwe up, up, up zaidi. Hata wewe amua. Ni yako, ni yaku, for you. Go beyond. Download Makueni County app. Ni one touch. Up. We can see the future. No longer will we be long distance traders. Traveling to water from Boni. Just to renew business license. Traveling to water from Tito and Day just to see the governor. Uki dile unadai. Hello. Usi jam. Niko kwa jam na kam. He haba iko kwa jam e china kam. Ata yezi jam. Unasema na governor through your phone. Unaponga na governor without you giving bonga points. No ni makumi. Just you, your phone, and the governor. No local committee. Just you, your phone, and the governor. Hakuna kizungu mzungu cha kizungu. Mbaka unaisi kizungu zungu. Aye, no otabe na kekama. Oh, my Makueni County app. A 
other counties are envious, others are jealous. Wanna sema, Kimenda, Kimenda, I want to talk to my governor. I want to smile at my governor. I'll be the first subscriber. Give me your phone, will you? We can see the future, just like Makweni juice and Makweni mist water. This is a game changer. To the maternity, Mambo Hayata Chemka, accidents, Mambo Hayata Chemka, firefighting, Mambo Hayata Chemka. Why? You want to know why? Eh, no delay, just a phone call away. Boleza any day, any time, 24-7. You see, to go up, up, up Zaidi. We can see the future. This app will be the avenue of collecting revenue. Mama Mboka hata poteza masa. Madereba hawata poteza chapa. Those crooked county officers. Wasi ofikisha chapa ako ofisi. Who? He up. Ime wanasa. Bye bye. You see? To go up, up, up zaidi. We can see the future. This app will nurture our culture. Even wonders of nature in Makweni will be our economic treasure. To Tatali, to Tatembea, building Makweni, promoting Makweni. You see, to go up, up, up Zaidi. We can see the future through Safaricom. We celebrate this innovation, this high level technology. We celebrate the CEO, Mr. Peter Ndegwa, Nemo Bea. Can we call you Tito? A shorter version of your name, why Tito? We won't say you come from Old Kalao. We won't say you brought spicy crispy waru from Yadarwa. How do we know? Ameni inua, tume inuana. Hata wewe, na wewe, go beyond. Uki download Makweni County app. Ena through Apso or Pleso. Ata kuinua, tuta inuana. You see, to go up, up, up Zaidi. With His Excellency, MK Jr., we can see the future. Mele Ikosawa, sure. With you, hatuta yumba yumba. With you, hakuna kasumba. Hakuna piki piki ponki. With you, wiki baada ya wiki. Niriziki, kwa hii hap, tuweke hata mziki. Tushagibie makueni, tuimie makueni Police is a promise that has not remained a promise Yo maana tuasema, hello tomorrow For we can see the future, the future is in our hands Shika yako tuone, hail our governor, hail Safaricom Hail makueni county up, to go up, up, up zaidi Lasses of muani to go up na makweni up. Hasta la vista.
Kenya mfumo huu wa ugatuzi Tatunaisifu Kanti yetu makuheni faso na mbele Tatunaisifu Kanti yetu makuheni faso na mbele Tunafurahia Maendeleo Maendeleo Tunasonga mbele Kwee hati Kimaendeleo Tunafurahia Tunasonga mbele Kwee hati Kimaendeleo Mpango wa bima ya hafya Kwa sisi sote
tuonyesha leza neto wema kwa nchi yetu tunayo ipenda amani yetu ndio ile yetu umoja wetu umoja wetu mzo wa ya kulipenda wataifa na beti kenya yetu tunayo ipenda kenya yetu tunayo Bibi na mabwana tuwapongeze wana makueni county choir thank you so much and also let's appreciate the mwani girls who did a wonderful job wow honorable governor my name is mc etwiki shwa <laughs> ceo safaricom i am a comedian shwa you know when i was told i'm coming to perform before these dignitaries i had to prepare uh, my CEO lazima ninge prepare nika clear mshwari nikalipa kwa wajazi na nikatafuta bundles za ku download my county app so far so nice at this moment ladies and gentlemen um help me uh, introduce on stage right honorable speaker Douglas Mbilo karibu sana Thank you very much, MC. Your Excellency, the Governor, the Governorship of this county, Excellency First Lady, uh, Mr. Peter, CEO, as you've been trained, and your team, and the entire county government, people, and the public officers. I'm Jambo. Tanena kwa kifupi sana, na kabla nionge ninge wauliza, wawakilishi, wawodi walio hapa, tafadhali msimame mlipo. In the interest of time, you will not get an opportunity to speak. Please allow me to invoke provisions of standing order number one that I direct I speak on your behalf. <laughs> so, our MC is wetu, you are MCA kutoka Ilima, Honorable Jonathan. Honorable Mwangangi is MCA for Ngumo Ward. Honorable Jonathan Kimongo, Chairperson Public Accounts Committee, MCA for Thwake Dam Mavindini Ward. Uh, Honorable Esther, we are your Chairperson wa Special Interest Group. Uh, we have with us uh, an architect and uh, a surveyor student in the KJ Kwat University, Honorable Bunzivo, member for Makindu Ward. Joyce Mwende is a special elect MCA, he comes from uh, this uh, sub county. Member for Mulala Emali Ward, Honorable Cosmas Mutunga. Then we have the host MCA, Honorable Felix Mateso, MCA for Watens U Ward. We have uh, Bana Tivu. Bana Tivu is a chairperson of the Committee of Division of Public Service, member from Bitini Ward. Honorable Sarambilo, not Sarambilu. Otherwise, you may wonder whether the speaker and the spouse are working in the same assembly. It's Sarambilo, a special elect member of the county assembly. And the member for Kaske Ward is the MCA for the deputy governor, is the Honorable Nzai. Then we have the Chairperson Committee on Water, MCA for Honorable Mutula Kilonzo Jr. and Anita. Honorable Engineer Kisungi Wakatete. And the Deputy Leader of the Majority who has stepped in as the Leader of the Government Business in this house is Honorable Francis Munyao. Please be seated. I think the Deputy Governor will get an opportunity to introduce the Executive. Ningependa kusema hivi kwamba tumefurai sana kufika hapa leo kwa muungano kati ya kaunti yetu ya Makueni na Safaricom. Na ukweli ni kwamba wale tulio kwa serikali wakati mwingi tunajigamba sana. Sisi ni maafisa, sisi ni serikali, tuko na 17CG, e, tuko na MGK, but the things that we do not know are the things that we are not good at. And therefore it is prudent that don't practice it. Allow those who do better to partner with you and work with you so that you can maximize and therefore, the partnership under the constitution, the law allows you, Governor, to enter this county into partnership with any other organizations. And Section 6 of the County Government Act is very clear on public and private partnership in the interest of the people of Makweni. The law allows you to do that with the support of the County Assembly, and that is why we are seated here today. 
So since that uh, you did so well in, 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 in Senate, as the senator for this county, you know, you can't perform, you can only perform better than Senate. I know it's a tall order, but you will. Vile hii mambo tumeanza, unajua mi nakuwa back end kwa kitchen. Kuyona vitu vimeanda huku, unajua zimepikwa vizuri kwa na waziri, na MCS, na speaker, na wale wengine, na deputy governor. Lakini tunawatakia kila raheri, watu wa makweni, and we are interested in working in the interest of the people of makweni. It's as simple as that. So Falcom has clients, the same same clients are being served by the people, I mean by the government of Makwena. Therefore, as a counter assembly, we will ensure that any legislative instrument, including in the Finance Act, if amendment is required, we will do so forthwith so that we will support this partnership. <laughs> then lastly, is that um, I'm encouraging other counties because the, the, the PS for devolution is here. And she's, she's responsible for county government under the office of the deputy president. That other counties and assemblies and governors open doors and windows and enter into partnership with the national government and in particular private sector. There's a law that was developed on public-private partnership by the former PS for Treasury, a son from this soil, Mr. Julius Mweya, the former PS for National Treasury, who is with, with us here. Now we need to just to implement the laws are there, the constitution allows so that we make lives for our people and our clients better. Allow me to conclude at that point and I want to confirm that the assembly is committed to support any form of development in the interest of people of Makweni. Asante Nisan. MC, back to you. Let's appreciate Right Honorable Speaker. Asante Sana Bwana Speaker. Thank you so much. They also call me MCA. Lakini word sina. Nitafutia moja makueni jameni. <laughs> Nitafutia hata moja. You know I'm a son of the soil. So anyway, for today let me be your MC. Uh, so Honorable Governor, uh, najua unapenda jokes. Lewa to joke, we are on a serious mission. We want to launch a serious mission. <laughs> Thank you so much. Allow me ladies and gentlemen at this point introduce on stage um, a presentation by Markwood Group. This is a group that is based at Makweni Ajiri Center. Welcome on stage. Wait, wait, currency. Yes, man. Manze Arakisha, Joe. Arakisha, you do that. Arakisha, I'm saying. Arakisha, Joe. Tell me, buyer. Tell me, buyer, I'm saying. Take it, take it, Buddha. Kalibia, go Hello, Beb. Kalibia kwa hapa. Ndaku pigia sa hii. Aja mkoja mse. Umse na hizi simu zake. Jo, umse na hizi simu zake. Umse na piga simu kila maani. Umse utu angusha kila time. Kalibi, tuta perform lini ukipiga simu. Ni wife, ni wife. 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 Hello? Ata kama umenunua tunukiwa bebe. Ana ni boba. Relax, relax. Kwa lila tupige performance hapa. Na kupigia dumu sayi. Tukusikia ni kwa na kina mode hapa. Atuko shere. Bebe. Bebe. Kai, 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 Hii kichana umekonayo ni ya nini? Oh, hii kichana uh. ni venye governor na safari kwa mwame ni chanua. <laughs> na kupata, na kupata. Yes. Na kupata. Yes. Thank you. Nimeanza kulod. Yes, thank you very much. Alafu yes. tena ni kulize. Yes. Um, unachiki shuguli. Yes. Uh, venye tunaipiga hapa. Yes. Au sio? Yes. Uh, umeniambia hii B. Kali B. Kwa hiyo kali B. Yes. Ina maanisha ganini. Sijai jua. Lakini kutoka leo, uh -huh. naeza hitwa bandos. Huh? Ikuwe kali bandos. Ama bandos kali. Ama bandos kali. Wewe si uko na G. Uko na mode yule G. Iyo G ni ya nini? Zee kafikiria. Iyo G. Mm. Ebu tufikirie. Si unaweza omba gavana ile, ile tina yake. Sina kuonga tato. Oh, oh, eh. Eka hapa kwa G. Ikuwe? Itakuwa mode yule 5G. 5G. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. Mr. DJ. Ipeleke nyupani. Ladies and gentlemen. 
Introducing you to the county 17 Aha Hey you gon get it now Go go home Makundo home Kachi kwa bijana gaji na biashara Makundo home Ah do home Makundo do home Makundo do home Do home Makundo home Kachi kwa bijana gaji na biashara na makundo home Allah do home Music is a drug, I started with that and now At the time, Ula was never an option Hell nah, homie was first in an auction With all of this way, money, step up and adopt I was a young, got trying to get an eye figure Obstruction from the shit, from the gas and the liquor The dream is bright, my homies call me a doctor When it being on my mind, BBC is the fast I'm rapping my good man, I'm feeling so good Easy with my sacco, drop to my sacco Get we had it up, oh my god, I'm gonna chuck it to my time, I'm gonna chuck it to my time I still got you, I'm gonna chuck it to my time in the bro, it can talk to you So in a mess, I'm best at it, it's a fool I'm going hard, so I'm going to get it I'm going to get money, so we are ready to make it I'm going to go home, go home I'm going to go home, I'm going to go home Chabusi kuma kuwe ni CBD Ukita kapiga root kuja kama utali Kapatana na jamia wakapa tuke sin Cheki tumeweza na tuendene Sabi okozi wa chanja wani wakuka nesa Karibu ni kwa chamba mandari mutapenda Maembe na kajuski dogo chantu disemba Makuwe ni niyo home tunafanya marifong Tatu pata kwa mapengi ya shara tukejo To the top tumetoka uko below Sa God ni mso we are better than before Cheza kilumi kama unapenda goma Sakata sakata Export surface straight to the airport Sinu tuwe masko mulala hapo kando Fika pita res tukilie toka kesho Wale matisho kwa bigi waga wenu Bini fiti wanoza kambata leso Mati yoni tuwa box super lambo Flow processing plancha ukamba Ukiwa junction makutano matawa kilalo Kifika wote hapo ndio ipota Santa ni mimi utapata hapa Obisi wangawa na mutula chowa ya we Isia makweni ndo ho Makweni ndo ho Makweni ndo ho Makweni ndo ho Kapi nduru ya makweni Let us appreciate Mark Hood Let us give them a round of applause Mark Hood we really appreciate you for the very energized presentation your Excellency, Mark Hood is a group that is based at the recently launched Ajiri Center. So you can already see that the studio is bearing fruit. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, kindly allow me to recognize the following people. Bwana uh, Nick Mwendwa, just kindly stand and wave at the crowd. Nick Mwendwa, Nadhani Sisi Fusote Tunamfahamu, KFF. Ni kijana wetu wa hapa makueni. Pia huyu MC Tricky ni wetu wa hapa uh, area kibwezi west hapa kwa highway. Uh, I want to recognize former PS uh, Muia. Kindly wave at the crowd. I wish to additionally recognize the following people who have accompanied the Safaricom CEO. 
Bwana Stephen Kiptenes, Chief Corporate Affairs Officer. Cynthia Karuri uh, Kropak, Chief Enterprise Business Cent Officer. Madam Esther Waititu, Chief Financial Services Officer. Uh, Mr. Nicholas Kamunyu, Chief Channels Officer. Mr. Paul Kasimu, Chief Human Resource Officer. In addition, I would wish to recognize uh, George Njuguna, Director, Information Technology. <laughs> Madam Karen Basine, Basie, sorry, Director, Sustainable Business and Social Impact. And many more uh, Safaricom uh, team members who are here with us. At this juncture, Excellency, you will allow me to invite on stage on behalf of the national government, Madam uh, Terry Mbaika, who is the PS for devolution. So naomba sisi wote tumkaribishe kwa shango na makofi. Thank you. Uh, our governor, my governor, <laughs> uh, the first lady, CEO Safaricom, a former PS, the speaker, all protocols observed. Please uh, allow me to recognize if we have any uh, government, national government officers in the room. Please stand up. If we do have, thank you so much. Please allow me to read uh, a short speech which I have, but before I do, I want to say that I'm very proud of my county. I'm very proud of our governor. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. I am delighted and privileged to join you this morning on an agenda dear to the Kenya Kwanzaa government and at a place I call home. As a PES responsible for devolution, this event is therefore a timely homecoming tour of my duty for which I feel greatly honored. Ladies and gentlemen, in the last 10 years, the State Department for Devolution and Intergovernmental Relations has overseen the successful implementation of the devolved system of government by creating an enabling policy and legal environment to facilitate devolution, supporting county government through capacity building and technical assistance to enable them to discharge their constitutional mandates. Indeed, since 2016, the State Department disbursed directly over 23 billion to the 47 counties to support strengthening the institutional and human resource capacity for better service delivery to citizens, facilitating effective consultation and cooperation between the national government and county governments in order to enhance synergy in serving citizens. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, through well-structured and coordinated intervention, the State Department, in collaborations with other government institutions, development partners, and key stakeholders in devolution has made strides towards the digitization of management of devolution. These efforts include establishment of devolution management information system to manage the devolution processes and share the requisite data, information within the department, and devolution stakeholders, including county governments. The key processes to be automated include all intergovernmental operations and county performance assessments that are key to continually determining the nature and scope of support needed by individual counties for improving service delivery. In addition, and more fundamental, the system is designed to facilitate the management of citizen engagement and public participation processes in the formulation of programs and projects in a transparent and accountable manner. 
the development of an integrated knowledge management information system for devolution to provide a one-stop platform that facilitates knowledge creation, processing, use and sharing, storage and retrieval within the devolution space. Allow me to address myself to the theme of this auspicious event. One of the main priorities of the Kenya Kwanzaa government is the implementation of the National Digital Superhighway and Creative Economy that accelerates the attainment of Kenya Vision 2030 development goals and taps into the high potential of our skilled but underutilized labor force, especially among the youth. The foundation of the digital economy is anchored on government focusing on adoption of information and communication technologies based on good governance principles and sustainable policies that creates a robust business environment which in turn fosters economic growth and job creation and improves citizen service del delivery experiences. In this regard, Counties are expected to establish mechanisms to facilitate public communication and access to information in the form of media with the widest public outreach, including setting up television stations, ICT centers, and websites. It is important to emphasize that effective use of ICT in the governance process promotes participation of citizens in the administrative processes reduces wastage of resources and increases government transparency, accountability and efficiency. It is encouraging to report that so far counties have made strides in, adoption, in adopting technology in the delivery of services and also in promoting accountability through online citizen feedback mechanism. Ladies and gentlemen, great potential exists among counties to digitize by investing in integrated information systems that collect, analyze, and store data for available investment opportunities at the county. Integrated information system would perform various functions and should be georeferenced for accuracy and ease of providing services and support to citizens. For example, in the areas of agriculture, health, Robust digital systems will provide real-time extension services to citizens cheaply and accurately and creating physical space for enhancing quality, reducing inequalities, and working towards a food secure and healthy nation. In fact, integrated systems can be used to collate digital information on available opportunities at the counties, for example, available natural resources, democratic data with social support requirements, physical business establishment and revenue collection potential. At this juncture, allow me to mention a few areas where ICT is playing a crucial role in service delivery at county levels. County governments have attained various milestones in acceleration of digital transformation by automation of most of government services in the various sectors like paying of land rates, through digital platform, online issuance of single business permits, automated revenue collection, and moderate automation of health services provision, among others. At the onset of COVID-19 restrictions prohibiting public gathering, county governments leverage on other modalities and other and structures for citizen participation, participation beyond physical town hall meetings, Radio stations became essential platform across the 47 counties for facilitating public awareness and flow of information on county development initiatives and the county governance processes. In addition, social media platforms, including WhatsApp, were activated to facilitate collection of views on the budget processes and other topical issues. Further, website and other social media applications, including SMSs, have remained the primary tool to share and exchange information with county constituents. Counties are at the forefront in facilitating the attainment of Kenya 2022-2032 digital blueprint infrastructure that aims at achieving countrywide installation of 100,000 kilometers of high-speed fiber optic infrastructure, establishment of 25,000 internet hotspots 
establishment of 1450 village digital hubs and county innovation hubs. This ambitious plan will be realized through sustainable partnerships between stakeholders and with the private sector being an anchor partner to work with the national government and county governments to ensure that all county uh, headquarters, sub-county offices and essential service facilities, hospital schools, vocational training hubs are connected to the network grid for effective service delivery to our citizens. I note with appreciation that through the able coordination of the Council of Governors, county governments have established the Marifa Center that facilitates the institutionalization of knowledge management this innovation has created an avenue through which county investment opportunities are shared, good practices are documented and made available to others in the devolution space, locally and internationally. In a nutshell, the aforementioned examples demonstrate the unwavering commitment by counties to use technology to serve citizens in a more innovative manner and also attract investments that contribute to our well-being as a nation. Honorable Governor, ladies and gentlemen, it is in this context that I am excited and honored to join you in celebrating this milestone achieved through the commendable efforts and coordination by COG in partnership with Safaricom. I have no doubt that my county app is a first step in ensuring all citizen services are accessed easily at no cost, we are possible and by all citizens, irrespective of their economic, social and education status or geographical location. I am proud that this, this launch is happening in Makweni County as a pioneer county in this trans, transformative agenda of serving Kenyans. Indeed, I hasten to say it is also presents to me a personal challenge and higher responsibility of ensuring it succeeds, considering my roots. As a department, we are developing an overarching framework to facilitate counties and the private sector to take advantage of the vast opportunities existing in the digital economy. As I conclude, the desire of Kenyans is for devolution to work, for them in addressing their daily challenges every day. The citizens revises their service delivery expectations and standards. From our experience so far and learning from the Safaricom's enduring journey of serving Kenyans with peculiar character, technology is so far the silver bullet that counties can invest and utilize in serving Kenyans better. Let us together work as one to ensure seamless integration of all government systems processes and services, and enhance communications between the two levels of government and with our stakeholders, partners, and citizens. Finally, my gratitude goes to the governor and his team for taking this bold step, the Council of Governors for Effective Coordination, Safaricom Limited, for believing in devolution and investing in it, and all stakeholders in the journey to make devolution work for all of us. Asante ni sana, mungu wa wabariki. Asante sana, Madam P.S. Uh, Tumpe Makofi. Many thanks uh, for those insightful remarks, uh, Madam P.S. Madam P.S. happens to also be a daughter of the soil, uh, so Makueni we are blessed. At this juncture, uh, Your Excellency, I'm informed that your Governor Olelenku has sent a representation, so I would wish to recognize uh, Veronique Vera Mora, Director General Revenue, Kajiado County, who is accompanied by Dr. Black Aende, Director Communication, Kajiado County, Karibuni sana Makueni County na murudisha salamu zetu kwa Governor His Excellency Olelengu. Uh, Excellency, I would like with apologies to also recognize the following people. 
uh, who are part of uh, Mr. Peter Ndegwa's team. Uh, Fauzia Ali, Chief Consumer Business Officer. Could you kindly stand up and wave at the, at the crowd? Uh, Lucy Laveva, Director Consumer Obsession. And finally, Boniface Mungania, who is Director Public Sector Digital uh, Transformation. I will then, I will ask uh, the digital uh, team to kindly help uh, Director Mugania to set up. Excellency and your guests, uh, Director Mugania will uh, showcase uh, the My County app uh, and he will be able to invite uh, the ECM, uh, ICT and a colleague from uh, Safaricom to help him in showcasing. After that, I will request that you invite uh, Mr. Peter Ndegwa, your CEO. Excellency, uh, the Governor of Makueni, Your Excellency, the First Lady, Deputy Governor, the PS State Department of uh, Devolution, my CEO, Peter Ndegwa, ladies and gentlemen, Moyaseo. Moyaseo. I'm still learning. So um, I'm here for a very simple task, and it is to help us touch and feel this my county. So for the last couple of weeks, a lot of activities have taken place between Safaricom, the great county of Makueni, and its partners. And this is where we now are ready to showcase what we've been working on the last couple of days. Two broad activities have been involved. The first one involved scoping. And the scoping started in the office of His Excellency, where he gave us the vision. And after that, we've dragged him into endless teams calls to try and understand whether we are in line. And then the second thing, or the second step, is when the great team led by Liz and Safaricom have co-created what we call the user journey and what we call the actual development. So in Agile, we call this duo tracking. Kuendesha Garimbili, Maramoja. So we've been identifying the opportunities and we are developing at the same time. And I confirmed to you last night we deployed the solution, and we want to showcase to you now. The second thing is Safaricom, again teaming up with the team that Liz leads, has been working on a different program, which is very exciting. And in the coming days, you're going to see the fruits. And that is going down to the talent and the creativity and the real talent hidden in Makueni and trying to unearth opportunities that can be progressed through engineering, and the session ended yesterday. We just have a word about it. So what we have today drives three things. Number one, growth of own source revenue by the county. And this is working with the revenue systems that the uh, county has in place. The second thing, and this is very important, especially coming from the corporate sector or the private sector. If you don't listen to customers, you don't know what you're doing. The county of Makueni has said they want to drive citizen engagement. They want to hear everything. If you find a borehole or um, a manhole broken in the city, you can report instantly. And there are many other um, opportunities. Then the third thing, which is very important, and this is where really technology has come in. We have worked tirelessly to implement a technology architecture that allows this county and all the 47 counties to connect through one single integration layer. This is going to be of big value 
as the county seeks to engage more partnerships and connect more opportunities. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite on stage um, the Waziri in charge of ICT, education and uh, internships, and my colleague Eman Atwa, who is the product manager leading the team that has been developing this, and then after that, George Juguna to close. Thank you. All protocols observed allow us to go directly into um, why we are here today. I'm happy uh, Mr. Boniface Mugania has mentioned the word co-creation and that is the outcome of what you're going to be seeing here. Um, if you look at this slide it just shows you that um, at Safaricom we didn't come and do this for Makweni. We have came and sat down together and uh, it's very interesting to mention how the governor uh, he's been setting up meetings very late uh, for us to show him uh, his vision and putting and be, being very uh, tough on us to ask us uh, uh, if you're achieving exactly what he wants to look at. Uh, some of us looking very sleepy, but we say that we have to deliver this. So Liz, I don't know what you have today on the next slide. Yeah. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. This application will support the whole county. In the design and development of this application, you are able to support us and give us your utmost blessing to do everything we could work on. This application will ensure that all county services are in one platform. It is a one-stop shop from revenue collection to tourism to county assembly to public service board. Everything in one platform. The other thing, Your Excellency, I know you remember your manifesto is very keen on good governance and service delivery. This application will enable our citizens to Sema Namutula from the comfort of their bedrooms. They can be able to report anything that they're experiencing in, in the county and you'll be able to answer them. Another um, key feature that you've brought up um, in this application is what you're calling citizen engagement. And this has been mentioned by Boniface Mungania uh, in his speech, um, that we've looked at it and asked ourselves, besides coming and making payment for services, what else can we offer you as a, a Makweni um, citizen? We want to give you and empower you uh, through this channel to be able to engage the county leadership and to make sure that you can feel that the governor listens to your issues and uh, is able to address the issues that you're able to raise. And as you can see, I'm going to be showing you how you can be able to do um, those kind of services. And then uh, what you see here is, of course, um, the seamless ability to pay uh, for county services. Uh, what you're seeing here is, for instance, parking is one of the county services that you need to pay for if you're coming to pay. For those who've come from um, other counties like Nairobi, I'm sure if you've not parked inside here, you might ask yourself, how do I pay for parking? And this is a very common problem as you navigate through different counties. So through this platform, as you can see, the seamless payment, at no point is Safaricom asking you to remember a pay bill number. It is very well integrated. All you need to do is enter the PIN and allows you to make the payment complete. Through the application, Your Excellency, we are going to be advertising Makoendi. Makoeni County is very rich in tourism attraction. So from the application for all our visitors and guests that are coming from the diaspora, they can be able to know at the comfort of the country they are coming from, which areas to visit in Makoeni. And just to mention, this was your idea. <laughs> And guess what we have over here, Makweni Radio. I think we can clap for this. <laughs> um, so what again we've achieved here is um, the ability for you to um, have a customized radio content for Makweni only. Uh, Mr. Governor can set up and say every day from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. I want to talk to my citizens. And they can come to the app and say I want to listen to the live radio. And when you click on it, then you can listen to whatever the governor is addressing. It will reduce your cost of setting up tents and events, I think. Because you can, you can reach as many people as possible in the comfort of their homes through the Makweni radio. So these are some of the uh, features you've achieved. And just not on the app, but you also expose this on the website. So whichever um, channel of preference a customer has, they can be able to engage and listen in. And then lastly, you saw this young uh, men and women present over here. 
this is also an empowerment platform because then they can be able to be using this kind of channel to grow their content and their talent because then uh, some of them you find they have talent but they miss opportunities and platforms to be able to grow this kind of um, talent. So this again is an empowerment to make sure that I can do my own recording and come and publish it on Makweni Radio and every day people can get to hear about what I'm doing. Yeah. And then you ask, how do I get the application? This application can be downloaded from Play Store. You can just go to your phone on Android and download it, my Makweni County app. You can also get these services through our USSD code, star 838 hash, and you'll be able to, everything that you're seeing on the app, you'll be able to access it using the USSD code. One other channel that you've also published this is on the Mpesa Super app. By show of hand, I don't know how many have the Mpesa Super app. Yeah, I would be disappointed if governor didn't have it. <laughs> yeah, so on the Mpesa Super app, when you go to under services, it's also one of the features you're going to be able to see. Yeah. Thank you very much. And with those few remarks, I would like to invite my colleague, Iman, to come and uh, run us through on how the application works. I can assure you it's not a user issue. All right. Um, allow me to recognize my lecturer, actually. And I'm saying this because in school we used to do these project presentations. And we'll always say it was working last night. Dr. Joseph Sevilla <laughs> uh, in the house. As you can see, I was listening in class and... We are here today. So we will not just show you slides. We want to show you how the actual application works. So um, what you see here is I'll go to the Mpesa app and um, I will log in. So this is one of the channels through which you can access this. And then when you go to under services, um, you will see one of the um, applications because they're quite a number. This is now what you're calling the mini apps. Uh, but if you're going to an um, Android um, Google Play, um, you'll be able to search my county and you're going to find the application. But allow me to use this uh, because um, I can access this, uh, but I'm on an iPhone. So when I click on my county, um, so what we've achieved here, you will start to see, um, okay, just allow me to log out. There's something I need to demo to you. So we do have where you we say get started. And um, when you click on get started, so currently, and it's, a, it's actually just to congratulate the people of Makweni, including the governor himself, uh, because you're the first one on this ecosystem. You are the first county on this ecosystem. And that's why when you say um, click on select at the very bottom, sorry, the lights might be not showing that. Uh, you only see it's Makweni County. And then when you click on Makweni County, um, it allows you to accept the terms and conditions. But then um, you're able to come to the next slide. So at this point, it gets you to the landing page of the application. As you can see at the very, uh, at the very top, uh, we do have what you're calling the featured news. Uh, this allows you to be able to access what is the latest um, items or news um, or featured articles within the county and also empowers the county to be able to use this kind of um, a platform to be able to communicate with the different citizens on what's happening and all that. And you can be able to read through and find out um, what's happening. Uh, another feature that you've also achieved here is um, what you're calling Selma Namtula. And this is a very powerful one because the governor said that he wants you to talk to him directly. He wants you to, do, to use this platform to be able to access him. So how have you achieved this? Because then you can come here and type in the title of whatever issue it is. Maybe I want um, support on school fees, for instance, or maybe I want to be helped on healthcare. I can type the description of the issue. I can also attach a file. One of the things you can be complaining is about probably um, a portal you've seen um, that you want the county government to address. So you can take a photo of that. 
And then we've also empowered you, if you do not want to be known as a citizen when you're submitting this, we allow you to share this anonymously. Uh, but again, if you don't check on sharing anonymously, what happens then is um, uh, we can be able to receive um, this submitted, uh, having known uh, who you are, and then you can follow up. So interestingly, in the office, the governor can be able to see this on a portal on his laptop in real time, and he can work with his team to make sure that these issues are, uh, these issues are being resolved. And as that is happening, uh, once the issue is resolved, you get a notification that the issue that you raised has actually been resolved. Um, one other thing that I also want to uh, showcase over here, um, Okay, looks like my technology is not working, but I'll just wind up by saying that uh, we've empowered you through these channels to be able to um, make different payment, uh, payment of different services, such as parking, uh, single business uh, permits, uh, land rates, um, market sales fees, and all that, because then all this, what you're saying that you can access all these county services are in one app and you're able to pay for them uh, without um, actually struggling to find out what is the pay bill number, what is the account number, all those kind of details. And this is what my county is all about, and I want to just congratulate the people and um, your team led by Liz. I think we've never um, met a county that is so dedicated, so much pressure. Uh, sometimes you chat <laughs> at 1 a.m. and you find she's actually online and giving you feedback, and you wonder, do you ever sleep? But I'm happy that we are here today that, and um, these applications are actually live, and you can find them um, on the USSD. If you dial star 838 hash, uh, right now you're going to see that, star, three eight, uh, star 838 hash, sorry, star 838 hash, and then also when you go to Google Play, just search my account, you're going to find the application. And then also on the mini app, uh, under the services section of M-Pesa Super app, you're going to find this um, available. So thank you so much, and I want to um, stop there. Um, there's a video I think that is playing very briefly on, um, as, as, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Your Excellency uh, Governor. I keep, I was saying earlier, I keep seeing Sema Namutula Jr., but you say Your Excellency uh, Governor, Your Excellency First Lady, Deputy Governor, uh, PS, uh, Terry. Uh, I didn't know you're from this county. Uh, good to be here. Uh, speaker, uh, our CEO, and, and Safaricom colleagues. Mine is very simple. Allow me, uh, Your Excellency. Uh, together with who I'd say is my colleague, uh, tech lead on the project, uh, to just ask the technical teams that worked on this program to kindly stand up. Najwa Mkouko Pali, kindly stand up so people can recognize you. The UX designers, the front end, the back end. Uh, <laughs> please give them a clap, led by our head of engineering, uh, seeing Mary there and the team. Uh, and then also, as you're standing, the county team as well, the finance team, the ICT team, please stand up. Uh, Your Excellency and uh, people of Makueni, this is the team that has made this work. Your Excellency, when you told us uh, in Mombasa that we must do this and you'll support us, we went and we got an army and it is the best, and I promise you it works. You may be seated, please clap for them. Uh, it's a team of young people that's very committed. On top of the launch, we came a couple of days ago on Monday to Wate, and we discussed with the team how we've built this app and how we build solutions. The goal of this, uh, together with my colleague Liz, is that we want to make and be part of Makueni becoming a hotbed of innovation. We believe this is the beginning. You passed the other governors in this, even if you did not start first. 
So we also believe in innovation. Uh, you will also do the same. Uh, so our commitment with the request today is that we will have a hackathon here. Our CEO will uh, support it in all ways. And we are, this creativity that was here the, in dance and music, I loved the girls who did the shairi. You guys are amazing. You took me back to my days in high school in drama and music. And I think the request to the marketing team in Safaricom is there is, I don't think anybody, Fozia, who can tell the up, up, up story better than that team. So let's see how we can, we can bring them in. So we will run hackathons here, and we believe we'll tap into the heart and soul. I think last but not least, uh, Governor gave us a challenge, and I know you technical team, you are listening. It's not just about the technology. We are going to bring the world uh, to Makueni, and we are going to take water to the world. So you are very certain we shall do that. Thank you. Over to you. Your Excellency, we all know the passion you have for our youth. This hackathon program that is, was ongoing in Water Technical, we called youth one night and the following day they showed up a hundred of them. So we have been working with them to build solutions to help solve our problems. So Safaricom, we are going to work together with them, with our own youth, so that we can build solutions that will solve our problems. Our own youth understand Makueni problems more than anybody else, and they're better placed to help us in collaboration with Safaricom to build the application. This is an opportunity for our youth. We are not just doing music, we are not just doing any other sports, but we are also going to tech and engineering. Thank you very much. So this is innovative as Boniface comes. This is the first time we've ever built an application in the way we've done. I'd like to recognize also the presence of our partners, AWS. Uh, if you may please stand up. They've flown in from Dubai. And I was looking at them and saying, are your servers up? And they said, George, we are hacking. So you may thank you so much, uh, JC and, and, and Cello, for being here. Uh, this is the first type of app we've done this. It is innovative. It is not even like how we've done any of our other apps. As Bonnie said, it has laid a foundation, PS, that all other counties, and not just counties, but government, we don't need to redo this afresh. About 80% of the work is already done. So it took four weeks for us to do Makueni. We believe we can do the others in less than two weeks. So thank you so much for giving us that opportunity. Thank you very much. Let's give them a clap. That's really great work done. It's now my pleasure to invite Safaricom CEO, Peter Ndego. very quiet room. <laughs> your, your Excellency the Governor, uh, Your Excellency the First Lady, uh, Deputy Governor, uh, your government uh, in, uh, from Akueni, um, former PS, uh, PS Devolution, uh, my team from Safaricom, invited guests, uh, everyone in the room, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Jambo. Mwea Sel. Is that better than Boniface's version? <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Um, so I think th for me the, the, the job has been done. Uh, for me, when I look at the, the shairi that was done by the young, uh, the, the young uh, students yeah, at the back, please clap for them. I, I, was, I was saying... I was saying some of them should join the Safaricom uh, uh, choir uh, and be trained as part of the, uh, that, that process. You know, part of coming, uh, coming down is, uh, is also to see the, uh, what happens here. I was saying to the deputy governor, uh, the last time I came here was when I worked for the, for the breweries. I was selling something different. <laughs> but uh, fantastic uh, to be here, uh, uh, governor, and to be in Makueni. Uh, you are, and, and I'm going to have a, a, a written, some written notes, but I, I just wanted to make some observations. You are pioneering the way uh, county governments are thinking about 
uh, running counties. Uh, the, the presence of my team uh, is a testament of uh, uh, your, your leading uh, nature. It starts with the leader. Uh, we saw it even with the Hustler Fund, the way the president led uh, Hustler Fund, and we went through the process and we did it in uh, six to seven weeks. We were able to do from concept to launch. Uh, it's so fantastic to be uh, involved again uh, and to see the passion uh, from, from, the, from the students, from the choir, uh, from the Ajira uh, kind of uh, uh, unit in terms of the, uh, the, the team that performed here. I got a new name, I, I realized. I, I realized uh, uh, the, the, the choir, I mean, the, the students told me that I ate enough potatoes. That is true. <laughs> Today, my wife uh, cooks potatoes and I don't eat them. I tell, them I eat, I, I tell her that I ate enough uh, when I was young. Uh, but that shows uh, people actually went out of their way to actually find out what are these people who are coming? Who are they? How do we uh, actually connect with them? And when you make things personal, uh, they, 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 they connect. I also brought two of my uh, leadership team members are from this county. I don't know whether that is uh, because this county is special. I'll, need, I'll leave you guys to decide. Fozia, who had been forgotten to be invited uh, or rather to be introduced, is from this county. I thought the MC had made the biggest mistake not to introduce the daughter. Why don't you stand Fozzi again to, uh, to, for, for, the, for the team to see you? And of course, the person who looks at our people why is it Paul? Yes, yes. So Paul Kasimu is also from, uh, from this county. And the reason I was, uh, I, was, I, I, I was introducing them is because I have known this county from Paul's stories about mangoes. Yeah, so I was wondering when, when mangoes were going to show up. I realized there was mango juice at some point uh, when there was uh, <laughs> some performance uh, up here. Um, so, so the team is very, very excited to be starting this journey uh, and today it's about three things. It's about transforming lives and uh, Safaricom is a very successful business. Um, but success doesn't just come from our commercial success. It comes from being close to our people in Kenya. We are known to be the biggest supporter of our communities through our foundations, but also the way we conduct our business. Uh, and it, this is also a demonstration. Uh, that we want to, uh, to enable or partner with counties, uh, to enable counties to connect with their own people and to serve the people. And I was saying to the governor that if we do the right service and if you deliver the uh, great things to people, revenues will, will, will come through. And actually you'll be able to raise enough money uh, for you to, uh, to do what you need to do. So it's about connecting people to people, connecting people to opportunity, and connecting uh, people uh, to knowledge. And you saw all elements of, of that today. The second thing is about partnership. Uh, because it is, and you saw that uh, between Elizabeth and uh, George and uh, Boniface, it's about two teams coming together in an agile way uh, to, to, to fulfill a vision that you have uh, for this county, but also which will extend to the 47 counties in Kenya uh, that will bring digital services to people in a way that is convenient, that is easy, but also that is, uh, that, that is cost effective because many people travel to county offices, many people uh, actually have to interact with the middlemen uh, and uh, digital services allow, allow for that uh, to, be, to be different. And the third thing is about innovation and technology. So it's about combining and we say, although we are a, we are a telecommunication business, it's also we, we, we have a role to combine the role of technology and innovation to bring ideas that improve the way our customers uh, experience services or, or live their lives, but also our society lives their lives. And this is an example uh, of, of, of that. So I'm delighted to be in Wote uh, today to talk about uh, my county app. Uh, I'll talk about why uh, this, this is important. Um, this is a new way for Kenyans across, of, of course starting with Makweni, but across Kenya to virtually access county uh, services uh, and there are very many services that were outlined there, uh, whether it's licenses, parking and so on and so forth, uh, in, uh, and to report issues uh, to, uh, to the county government, but also to get news and, and it's good to see that we are already starting to innovate around the county app. So well done uh, for Zia for uh, for the radio, the radio idea. My county uh, app, of course, uh, as we have said, it will reduce physical visits. Uh, it will also reduce manual payments. 
uh, and also save on time and travel. We know our people travel. Um, in my former life when I used to work for, for, uh, for the breweries, I remember I used to be a sales director and distributors used to go around uh, and distribute in every retail account. Today, thanks to M-Pesa, that's all cashless. So you, security is dealt with, uh, salespeople are not under any, any threat as they go uh, out their business. Distributors don't have to worry where they are. Retailers can buy from wherever it is. This is the same concept that we have in terms of your, um, someone can be uh, accessing services. So for example, you live in Makweni, so you access services in Makweni. You, live, uh, you work in Nairobi, so you access from, uh, uh, services from uh, uh, um, Nairobi County for your business. Uh, needs and and you are when you are traveling as a tourist you can access services from wherever uh, you are so going digital will will highly uh, cut and I think the the, uh, the, the, the students talked about the middlemen uh, and those who get in the way uh, and I'm sure that will be uh, history I was saying to the governor that it's also the reason why we also have to start transitioning people from 2G to 4G to increase the number of smartphones that people have so that everyone, they will leave no one behind. And although you can use the star uh, uh, 838 hash, it is, your experience is so much better when you're on the app. So therefore we have to start uh, going that, that direction. Um, so, so as part of accessing all, all county services in one place, you'll also, um, no one needs to remember all these pay bills, so the user journey is also uh, really, 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 really fantastic. Uh, and for me, the biggest thing is that we will be able to enable individuals, regardless of where they are, and regardless of what they do, whether it is work, leave, uh, and so on and so forth, leisure, uh, to be able to interact. For the county, uh, this is a, a, great, a great tool. Of course, we've talked about Sema na, na governor. Um, I, 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 you know, you, you, you need to be careful for what you wish for. <laughs> So, so I'm sure you receive a lot of feedback and a lot of, uh, a lot of input from the public, but that's, that's, that's what they elected, they, they elected uh, you for. But on a serious note, I was also saying to the governor, it's also the optics of having a channel where people can actually create and, and give. Uh, if you cannot communicate, uh, then you're not accessible. So it's fantastic to see, uh, to see this happening. Uh, in addition, I, I wanted to just uh, recognize uh, you, uh, Your Excellency, the, the, the Governor Mutula um, um, Alonso Jr., for the leadership that you have showed. Um, my team has been mentioning you in every meeting that we've been talking about uh, the, the My County app. Um, it starts with the leadership. Uh, Hustler Fund happened because the President was committed. He said well, first of December was the day to launch. The fact that you have been very, very clear with your team and our team uh, is why this, uh, uh, this county is leading the way uh, and, and providing uh, the visibility that the rest of the counties uh, we, we will have to have. And I was saying to the governor that he's not going to be a very popular person because when Makweni residents start to access these services, uh, they also get uh, uh, these services. The second is, of course, you'll get better visibility of your revenue collection, as we've talked about, uh, better coordination across your ministries, uh, in, terms of, uh, uh, in, in, in terms of what they are doing and connecting between uh, ministries and also uh, be able to deliver uh, services at the right, at the right cost. Uh, so in terms of from here, we intend to roll it out to all the 47 counties in the coming months. Uh, and I'm sure, as George said, we'll accelerate this process uh, because the, the, uh, the start uh, uh, today we, are, we, are, we have kicked it off. Um, the app, uh, as you have heard, is available on all phones. Uh, it can be uh, available on, on, uh, on smartphones, on, uh, on the, on the, on the M-Pesa mini app, uh, super app uh, through the mini app piece, but also the web, the web portal. Um, and uh, on, of course, on the short code, because we need to make sure that we are not leaving the people who have 2G phones. Uh, behind or two or three G phones that everyone uh, is included. And for those who have not dialed the service, uh, star 838 hash, George and the body fish, I hope it works. Um, and, uh, and, and I hope that uh, everyone can experience um, uh, what, what we have launched today. So for me is to, uh, to, to end by recognizing you, Governor, and your team for what you have been able to deliver. 
uh, for pioneering this, uh, for setting the pace for the other county, uh, recognizing the two teams that have worked together uh, in an agile way, but also recognizing all the partnerships that we have had from the partners that we have enabled this, uh, the internal uh, departments within Safaricom, but also within, within your government that has also enabled this. But more importantly, always for us to remember, it has to work for your ordinary person on the street. It has to work for the farmer, for the person who is seeking medical, uh, medical um, support. It has to work for the person who is seeking the service. The experience has to be good. The tech is good, but really without it coming alive at the point where the customer or the, the service is being provided to the Monainchi, really we will not have considered this to be a success. I'm sure then once that happens, the revenue to the county will, will be, uh, targets will be fulfilled and the, success, the other successes that you want will also be fulfilled. And then in the future, once we get enough data across all counties, we can also come with big data and analytics to help you even offer better services uh, and, and also better experiences. I know you talked about diaspora, you can continue to expand uh, the reach of the app and the reach of uh, what this ecosystem can do. But this is just the start. Uh, and I'm sure in a year's time, people will not remember the world without app. Uh, so from today, I think it's a, it's a real great milestone. And Your Excellency, the Governor, you'll always be associated with this milestone. So thank you very much, Trevor. I will request uh, the Safaricom uh, CEO to remain on stage so that we have our gracious First Lady uh, present a gift to him. Let us appreciate the First Lady with a hearty clap as she presents a gift to the Safaricom CEO. That is our gracious First Lady, Her Excellency, uh, Madam Mutula. Your Excellency, Governor Mutula Kilonzo Jr., <laughs> Deputy Governor Lucy Molili, our Chief Guest, Mr. Peter Ndegwa, all protocol observed, good afternoon. Good afternoon once again. Uh, Your Excellency, my duty today is very simple. I don't plan to take a lot of your time. Uh, I just wanted to appreciate Mr. Peter Ndegwa for finding Makweni County fit and uh, to choose Makweni County to be the only county so far that has the My County app. Uh, the other counties are probably jealous, but he has already mentioned that he is going to join them in another two weeks or so. But we are proud and happy to continue being the center of excellence. And I am glad that he has picked it up. And we are happy that we are the county that has launched this uh, My uh, County app. Thank you so much, Mr. Peter Ndegwa. Please appreciate our token of appreciation. I know I should have maybe carried some mangoes, but this is what we could offer. So please accept our gift and we look forward to future collaborations and partnerships with Safaricom. Thank you so much, Mr. Peter Ndez. Let us give them a hearty clap. For those who do not know our county first lady, that is our very gracious first lady, Her Excellency Anita Mutula. Let us appreciate her with a hearty clap. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, I'm informed that uh, 
the governor Taita Taveta has also sent a delegation uh, on a learning mission and I will uh, request uh, the following people from Taita Taveta to please be upstanding for recognition. Mr. Gabriel Mwadime, who is the director ICT, Taita Taveta County. Mr. Mwadime is at the back. Mr. Gilbert Kachoi, a software developer with the county government. Mr. Kelvin Kitonga, ICT officer. Karibuni sana, convey our regards uh, to your governor when you get back. At this juncture, Excellency, you will allow me to invite Her Excellency. Sorry, Excellency, just before uh, you come. In the interest of time, I will request uh, His Eminence, Archbishop, um, Archbishop Ndambuki, uh, to please be upstanding together with uh, the clergy who are present today. Let us appreciate the clergy. I feel that is not enough. Let us appreciate uh, the clergy who are here with us today. Uh, you may be seated. Excellency, uh, Archbishop Ndambuki is local, and that's why we never uh, tend to think that he's a big man. And it was until today that I was informed that uh, Archbishop Ndambuki, doctor, is actually the head of Africa Brotherhood Church. So we are delighted in the company of the head of the Africa Brotherhood Church, but then additionally he is also the chairperson National Council of Churches, Kenya, NCCK. So let us uh, give him a hearty appreciation. Uh, at this juncture, uh, uh, Excellency, allow me to invite Her Excellency, the Ge Deputy Governor, Madam Lucy Mulili. Uh, Your Excellency the Governor, Your Excellency the First Lady, uh, CEO Safaricom, Peter, and your team, uh, CECs who are present here, uh, the Principal Secretary, State Department for Devolution, the Speaker of the County Assembly, uh, CEOs present here, all guests who have joined us today and all protocols observed, good afternoon. Thank you very much. My name is Lucy Mulili, Deputy Governor McQueenie County. And uh, mine are just going to be a few remarks uh, and to welcome His Excellency the Governor to make his uh, speech. Uh, now that the app has been launched, I, I wish to say that, that uh, the launch of this app, my government of Makueni County app, is a, is a milestone for our county of Makueni. And uh, because in the manifesto of His Excellency the Governor, we, we, we are very keen on ICT. And I know the digital transformation for the county has begun. And services are going to be provided faster to the people of Makweni. I wish to think about a youth, probably, or even a lady or an old man at the other end of the county, in Motito Ande, in Kitise, in Malili, because the county is vast, they do not now, will not need to come to Makueni to come and pay their, their revenue, their services, or they can be able to access the county services through my Makueni app. And therefore, the wish of devolution to provide proximate services to the people will not just be proximate in physical, but actually on the go, on your phone. And therefore, we really are thankful uh, to Safaricom for the partnership we, we are having with you for assisting this county and the team together in co-creation and coming up together with the Makueni County application. And therefore, as a county government, I know, I know that we are going to input through, the, through our CC, ICT and our team there is more that we are going to put into that Makueni app going forward as 
innovations come along and therefore it's a beginning of a journey of trans transformation and providing good services to the people of Makueni County. And therefore we are proud to have you today, uh, to have Safaricom with us today. And, uh, and I'm so happy. I, I, I like the way they go the whole journey, Safaricom, because I, I'm looking at this, I can see Makueni, I can see Safaricom. Then I'm okay. They, they, they really know how to plan and do a good job. You've come at the right time when there are rains here. Um, well, probably the, the mango season, of course, is, is, is over uh, in, the la in the month of March. But we are privileged, really, to have you with us here. Now, um, in the, we have a county executive committee we work with, and I think it's important for me to introduce members of the cabinet for Makweni County. And uh, our request, because we have a chief, we please come and just introduce the Waziris. And, and I'll request the Waziris, please just come here. It's your day. It's part of the success of this county. And uh, we truly appreciate it. Just stand there and the, the chief whip will introduce you because we work in a team and this is the, the team that we have being led by the team leader, His Excellency Honorable Motula Kilonza. So the chief whip, please, can you introduce? Thank you very much, Your Excellency, the Deputy, Your Excellency, the CEO, all protocols observed. I'm the chief whip uh, behind the team leader, <laughs> His Excellency, the Governor. With us is a, a team of the CECs who are around. Uh, we have a, quite a number who are on assignments outside this town, and, but they are with us in spirit. So I can start from the far end. We have the county attorney, Stanley Ndewa. Can we clap for him? <laughs> then we have engineer Choni, Waziri Barabara. We have Nicholas Zioka, Waziri Gender. We have Dr. Sonia Zilani, Waziri Lance. Then we have Waziri Damaris, Finance. And then our OCC, uh, Madam Elizabeth Muli. Asande Risana. Thank you. Thank you very much. You may be seated. And finally, uh, just the last remarks. Uh, just speaking from what the PS uh, State Department for, you know, um, for devolution has talked about the NOFB. National Optic uh, Fiber Backbone Infrastructure. Oh, okay. Sorry, the county secretary. Just be upstanding. We have our county secretary and the chairman, public service board, and the rest. Sorry, I, I forgot you. So thank you, but we recognize your presence uh, and everyone else. So, uh, P.S., uh, you mentioned about NOFB and uh, about how it terminates at the county commissioner's office, the National Optic Fiber Backbone Infrastructure, and how uh, the State Department for Devolution is going to support counties in utilizing that infrastructure. We know the county government is not connected, but even as we do this, we know going forward, and I've liked your speech, we are going to connect the county government offices to the, to the backbone infrastructure for the country and therefore more better experience for better services of the county government of Makueni. And now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege and singular honor to invite the team leader, Makueni County, His Excellency Honorable Mutula Kilonzo Jr. to come and make his remarks. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. To Tito, now you are called Tito, we should refer you as Tito, CEO, <laughs> Safaricom, and your colleagues, uh, Speaker, County uh, Assembly, PS Terry, our friend, and obviously, our father in economics, uh, Dr. Julius. Uh, MC, you forgot to introduce a very important guy. He might not put a very uh, polite letter in your file. Is Nicodemus Muteti, 
the Chairman of the County Public Service Board. Please be upstanding to be recognized. Thank you very much. And of course, the members of the County Assembly who in very many ways have been very instrumental in what we do. Allow me to make some general remarks before I read my very short speech. Today, I'm accompanied, there's uh, somebody in your team who is a very good friend of mine, Kiptines Arab Kipchumba. Now, there's something significant about this day and him. On 26th of April 2001, we were admitted as advocates of the High Court of Kenya with him. But since my name appears before his, I'm his senior, so he calls me <laughs> senior. If I don't say this, then I, I will not sleep well at night. On 26th of April 2013 is also the last day that I saw my father alive. But on 26th of April 2017, God blessed us with a lovely son, uh, uh, with um, First Lady, his name is, is Mutula. So God has a way of wiping tears. And today we are launching this app. Uh, CEO, you've come at a very good time. Uh, we were praying for this rain. It has come. You are the chairman of drought mitigation. Although you can see some rain in parts of Makwene, there are still parts of Makwene where there is no food. For a long time, we, we have been in the red zone, 15 or more counties, the sub-counties, out of 30. And therefore, when you sit down to consider uh, who to give provision, I plead with you to consider Makwene, if for anything, that we have produced Fauzia and Kasimo. <laughs> <laughs> it was also a, good for me to note, and I noted this when we were doing the Safaricom Youth Orchestra, that you share file numbers with what was Terebu Musumame Gwaza? One, two, three. three. Three, three of our ECMs are from Stare, CEOs from Stare, one member from the back is also from Stare. So I asked you to take pictures. <laughs> Fauzia, uh, we have learned that you are a friend of, um, of uh, Stare. Ladies and gentlemen, residents of Makwene. This is a great opportunity. Just like some of the guests who have come to Makwene, this has been a competition of who comes first. And Makwene came first. You should be proud of yourselves. A lot of people were in the line, in the queue, on this platform, and Makwene is number one. So we want to honor you. Uh, Tito, Peter, <laughs> for coming to join us today. Ladies and gentlemen, this platform and the memorandum we are going to sign today is opening a window, a window for the young people in Makwene to do what was described by Boni, we call him Boni, otherwise Bonifas, in very complicated terms. But it is our universities competing to do innovation. And that will begin in Makwe. So when I visited Moane girls before they went for the, have they gone? Before they went for the drama festival, I challenged them to set up an innovation club so that you can compete. And that is the avenue that the youth in Makweni and generally in Kenya have missed out on having a platform. Allow me to thank Safarico for being our champion and our partner in healthcare. We have a beautiful first class facility in a place called Tower, courtesy of Safarico. We have beautiful equipment in a hospital called Kilongo, first class equipment, and Kikima Hospital, courtesy of Safarico. And the person who came here in the height of COVID is none other than Karen Basie. With a resident, could you please stand to be acknowledged? Thank you. 
with a gentleman who is not only a friend, is nearly a family member from Safaricom. His name is uh, Henry Kilonzo. Ladies and gentlemen, for those who are asking, this is an opportunity for wealth creation. It's not just a platform. Initially, it was just a platform for me on this platform to see what you are paying. But then, we have put up something else. We are showcasing. Before national government introduces the tourism circuit of Kenya, Makueni has introduced a tourism circuit. Somebody flying in from Dubai, like two, these two good gentlemen, can easily go to the app and go to one of the best facilities in the world in Chulu. And through this app, we are able to create wealth and many other places. And all the investors, the hoteliers who are here, have been looking for an opportunity to showcase their investments in terms of hotels. So now we have an opportunity through this platform. There's an opportunity in agriculture, and they want to help us in our value chains. But there's yet the game changer. They have people who are prepared to partner with us in the Department of Gender to help the funds that we have in terms of what we call the Tetheka Fund so that you have a partner who can put in money together with Makueni County to lend to youth, women, persons with disability, and SMEs. And you will get credit at an affordable rate. And therefore, I think today I can say either it is a Merry Christmas or I can say it's a Happy New Year. So allow me to make my remarks briefly. It is a great privilege and honor to stand before you today as we unveil a new chapter in our journey towards a revolutionary development of service delivery. I am immensely grateful for the trust and responsibility you have bestowed upon me and my team to serve you. Our passion, Electorate Awaoni, for progress and commitment to the people of Makweni continues to drive us forward as we work tirelessly in realizing our shared dream, a dream of a progressive and vibrant county where the well-being of every citizen is a top priority. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed an exciting time to be alive. As we launch this app, we stand at the cusp of a new era of possibilities, opportunities, and immense potential where one can harness the power of technology to serve our people and bring tangible transformation to the lives of our people. For far too long, ladies and gentlemen, service delivery to our people has been plagued by inefficiencies, inequality, inaccessibility. We have seen how these challenges have impacted the livelihoods of our citizens and have hindered our county's progress. It is with this realization and understanding that the governor, gov government of Makweni, through ICT, Education and Internship, forged this partnership with Safaricom PLC to craft this digital platform to serve the people of Makweni. Our vision is a single digital system that would not only launch digital services, but also empower our citizens to hold government accountable, underline those words, and therefore fostering the trust and confidence of our operations. This is the time the public will tell me if you are in Mtituande and you are not doing your job, they will tell me on this app. This morning I have received a text message about an officer. So now they will be sending to this app. So Muji Pange, we needed a solution that ensures transparency, vis uh, visibility and accountability. This was our promise to the people of Makweni. A symbol of our commitment and promise to improve the lives of the people of Makweni through an integrated and sustainable development process, a solution that promotes inclusivity and participation, upholds accountability in my government, and fosters strategic partnerships. Ladies and gentlemen, the result is this app, now dubbed My Makweni County App. This app is a testament of our commitment to crafting sustainable local solutions to our challenges through creativity and innovative mi mindset. You have seen the group that is singing 
my county, 017. We just gave them a platform across at our green space to showcase their talent. You can see we have talent. And this is just but the beginning. This app offers, together with everything that will come, even greater opportunities for the youth population of Makweni, so educated. I told you, CS, that uh, this good gentleman called Dr. Muteti has made employment impossible in Makweni because chief officers in Makweni are doctors of mathematics. So if you don't have a second degree, chances are that you will be eliminated when they are doing their shortlisting. This app is an excellent step forward in implementing sustainable practices in government operations. By adopting this app, we will reduce paper usage and promote digitalization, conserve our environment, which will translate to long-term cost and environment benefits. As a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, the other key pillar of our development is prioritization of the people of Makweni and Ombe. At the heart of this app is a manifestation of this principle. Through this platform, we will be able to run a people-centered government that provides a level playing field for all members of the society. One that places power back in the hands of the citizens, allowing their voices to be heard and their contributions to be recognized. This platform will enable us to engage our citizens directly, empower them to participate in decision-making processes, and invite constructive feedback, and of course, criticisms, and give each and every one of you the power to hold us accountable as your leaders. I therefore have no doubt in my mind that through this application, the citizens of Makweni will be empowered to make wise decisions and participate meaningfully in shaping our shared future. The launching of this app is also granted on a very important pillar in our development agenda, good governance and service delivery. I am a firm believer that the success of any government is dependent on its ability to deliver quality services to its citizens in a manner that is transparent and inclusive. This platform provides an e-revenue collecting system that will help us streamline the collection of government revenue to fund development initiatives in a way that is efficient and effective. Our citizens within Makweni and Kenya as a whole, those in the diaspora, development partners, our friends, international community, will, be, will access real-time data about ongoing development on all sectors in the government of Makweni, not limited to revenue or finance, including where to find an aggregation center of green grams in Makweni, you will find it in this app. This way, we shall entrench openness and transparency in this government. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to emphasize that this launch would not be possible without the tremendous work and support of my team and our Safaricom PLC. Allow me to recognize the following people. Bosco Molwa, please stand to be recognized if you are here. <laughs> Stephen Thiongo, if you are here. Benjamin Macau, ICT, if you are here, very good. Boniface Mtua, he's always so busy. I don't know whether he would be here. He must be doing something somewhere. Alphonse Kanunga, CEO, congratulations. Of course, Damaris Kavoy, <laughs> the, I call her the Lord of Exchequer. And uh, last but not least, of course, Elizabeth Molly, for your good job. Uh, the, way, the way George and uh, Bonnie were doing their things here, Ninawashuku. Anyway, on the, safari <laughs> on the Safaricom team, allow me to recognize Boniface Bugania. Bonnie, this gentleman is an asset. This one is an asset. Uh, George Njuguna, what would you do without you, George? <laughs> uh, Iman Atwa, very good, of course. Mumbe. What is, uh, where were you hiding? <laughs> uh, Eunice Saitua. Saitua. Is she here? Kimari Maina. Lillian Mumani. 
And then there is the wheeler dealer. The wheeler dealer. I call her the full crown. She is the wheel. She is the dealer. I call her the mafia. Wanjiko. Jire. Now, that is a fulcrum of everything. She connects all of us, asks the necessary questions, puts us on check, asks questions, has feedback, sends SMSs, waits for responses. If you don't call, she calls you back. It has been quite a journey. Thank you, Anjiko, for a good job. <laughs> Members, your dedication, expertise, resources, and commitment to our shared vision has been instrumental in making this project a success. On behalf of the people of Makweni, please accept my deepest gratitude. It is my prayer we'll continue working together across all sectors and levels to build a more equitable and prosperous society. It is in this spirit that my government will also be signing the MOU with you, uh, Peter Ndegwa Tito, <laughs> to further our various areas of potential partnerships through structured framework. To you, Peter Ndegwa, Thank you very much for believing in us and your support to devolution. I told a team yesterday that I visited from Madagascar that are benchmarking on decentralization that devolution is the second independence of Kenya. And by building counties through what you are doing with Safaricom, we'll be able to build the economy of Kenya away from what is happening at national level. We want to build a resilient economy that can support us irrespective of shortfalls at national government. This platform, ladies and gentlemen, offers that opportunity. I remain fully committed to working even more closely together with you. I mentioned to you a, a passion I have and that of first lady of children and mother and care. And my dream, again, is to do a first class pediatric center, equivalent to what you find in Gertrude's right here in Makuweni. That facility, that HDU you have built in Lamu for mothers, that HDU that helps those mothers when they're delivering. And I believe the women of this country must deliver with dignity. That is my rallying call. And we can do something so that when they uh, deliver, then we can give them the dignity they deserve. And therefore, that's why I have recognized the work that Karen Bessie Moli has done together with Henry Kilonzo in this regard. With those three remarks, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mwani girls. Together with Mwalimu Caroline, I told you that uh, CEO thinks that this app doesn't need any further advertisement. You are enough. So he might call you to Safari Com House for something. Uh -huh. And then the good team who sang a very good uh, uh, song, uh, the team from Makweni, my county 017. That is the way to go. And we hope that every county can find an opportunity of showcasing what they have like we do. My dream, uh, uh, Peter, allow me to call you Peter. Uh, it took five months for Wanjiku to call you Peter. Allow me to call you Peter. My dream is to bring investments to Makweni. My dream is to improve the livelihoods and transform the lives of those people in Makweni. 78% of them who believe in agriculture just transforming them, not to make too much money, even $10 a day. And then we can have people who truly are hardworking and don't need anybody other than we facilitating them to make sure they get a market. An app like this one can market our mangoes under the sea. Thank you, Peter. Asante sana. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's appreciate His Excellency. Asante sana. At this uh, moment, I would like to request His Excellency to just remain on stage kindly. Kindly, His Excellency, our Governor, just remain on stage. And uh, I would like to request uh, CEO Safaricom.
to just come over for the signing of the MOU. It's the most important part of the program. <laughs> Thank you so much. Asante sana. Uh, uh, His Excellency, my governor, is my good friend. So sometimes we joke a lot, but at least thank you so much for coming over. At this point, I'd like to request kindly uh, my witnesses uh, to come over on the stage. I'm requesting the Chief Corporate Affairs to come over kindly. County Attorney, please come over. Um, I would also like to request... Uh, Director PSDT to come on stage. And finally, I request ECM ICT to come on stage. Uh, I'm told in Makweni County we are not signing MOUs on papers. No, we are digital. That is the Makwen that we have. So... So at this point, assume that they are not doing this, the paperwork because we are going to do it on the digital uh, screen over there in style. Kindly you may have your seats. Now, oh, ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a round of applause. So much gentlemen now finally A round of applause ladies and gentlemen thank you so much Makofi Mabibi na Mabwana The beginning of a new journey The digital transformation that we are talking of Congratulations Makueni County
Makofi, Makofi, Asante ni sana. Thank you so much, His Excellency. Now, I would like to request you kindly now to have the digital signing. Makofi Najua mnataka kuona signature ya governor <laughs> Zafadhali msiende kuitumia vibaya <laughs> All right let's have a good club Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Let's appreciate them as they leave the stage. Asanteni sana. And at this point, we want to say that my Makueni app is officially launched. Wapi Makofi Jameni? Asanteni sana. At this point, let me uh, invite my co MC, MC Mesh. Kuje hapa. Then we wind up. Ladies and gentlemen, let's appreciate them with the hearty club. At this juncture, uh, Excellency, I would want to tell the Safaricom team and uh, the other invited guests a story of a mountaineer from Makweni called Dr. Faith Mwende. Dr. Faith Mwende is a seasoned uh, mountaineer from Kilungu in Makweni and she's currently hiking Mount Everest with the hope of reaching the summit at 8,849 meters above sea level in the coming week. When she summits, she will have become the first Kenyan citizen woman to have achieved this rare milestone. Dr. Faith has embarked on this historic expedition to raise awareness on climate change, climate action, mental health, and global peace. With us here today is Mr. John Thiongo, who is the head of Dr. Faith's No Summit is Too High Organizing Secretariat. But an excellency here with you and next to you the CEO of Safaricom has a gift towards supporting Dr. Faith Mwende. So once more, I invite the Safaricom CEO on stage, and I ask Mr. Thiongo to join them, and I ask the, our ECM for gender, and I ask the First Lady to also join them on stage. Excellency, Safaricom is giving a million shillings. As we can see, that is the CEO of uh, Dr. Faith Mwende's uh, Secretariat. Safaricom has just given a million shillings towards Dr. Faith Mwende. Let us appreciate them with a hearty clap. Dr. Faith Mwende is uh, on the path towards uh, placing the flag of Makueni County at the top of Mount Everest. Uh, she was launched by the governor a few weeks ago. Asante Nisana, you may resume your seats. 
another first uh, for Makweni. Thanks, uh, Mr. Peter Ndego, for reminding me that. You know, Makweni is a county of firsts. Uh, we are the first to launch this app. Our governor will actually be the first Kenyan to use the app today. Uh, and Makweni will be the first county to run the app as well in the whole republic. Uh, Faith Mwende is going to be the first, first, first Kenyan and first Kenyan woman to scale Mount Everest as well. So, to Jipigie Makofi Kama Wana Makweni. Uh, Excellency, uh, I will request in the next few minutes to be able to access your phone screen as we run a demo. But just before we do that, I will ask the technical team to run a demonstration on the app uh, just before it goes live. The app that we are launching today is going live in the next few minutes and Our Excellency the Governor will be the first person to actually uh, pay for parking. I will request, I will be requesting you to pay for parking for your private vehicle. COE as a The government one is exempt, uh, but your private ones are not exempt. So, but I will guide you through that Excellency with the indulgence. So, technical team, kindly uh, give me a feed on the demo video. Introducing my county app, an all-in-one app experience for all your county services. One digital platform for 47 diverse and unique Kenyan cultures. Powering growth of county-generated revenue across all the counties. My County App gives you simple access to all your county services with seamless payments. Pay for various county services such as parking, market entrance fees, land rates, and single business permits, among other services. My County App is reliable and accessible 24-7 to ensure uptime and availability of the services across the 47 counties on board. Chat with your governor and give feedback on the services offered. Report any arising incidences within your county. Are you in distress? Easily access emergency services at the click of a button. Discover and immerse yourself in the Makweni County amazing experience of tourism and culture. Jueseshe na my county app. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to uh, once more invite His Excellency the Governor on stage. With your phone ready, I will ask the Safaricom CEO uh, to join him so that he's able to help him navigate around the app because it's the first time that he's uh, using the app. And then uh, I will ask the Director PSDT to also join. I will ask our ECM for ICT to also join. And I will ask our ECM for finance to come and confirm if money has actually been uh, paid. Uh, but the person who is paying is His Excellency the Governor. Uh, CEO requests that Cynthia and Boniface also uh, join them. May I kindly uh, and with all humility request uh, His Excellency the Governor, can we display your phone screen on the big screen? Uh, His Excellency has consented uh, that we can uh, display his phone screen on the on the big big screen. Uh, Excellency, uh, look at your phone. Uh, His Excellency is requesting that we do not display everything. 
As you can see, His Excellency is quickly navigating around the app. Now, uh, Excellency, you are on the landing page, uh, Makweni County. He has chosen to pay for parking. Choose parking type. Uh, vehicle number plate. KBZ 400H. If I'm not wrong, that is a Land Cruiser VX, white in color. <laughs> It's a private car. Parking zone is Watertown. Parking details, they are well captured. The amount to pay is 50 shillings. You may click to pay. Daily parking, M-Pesa pin. Uh -huh. I hope the, 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 the streaming people, you are not showing the M-Pesa pin. Eh? Payment has been made successfully. You can see His Excellency has received a confirmation message. You have successfully paid 50 to Makweni parking in Wote. Asante sana. Excellency, that is the launch moment. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, join me in appreciating His Excellency the Governor. We have successfully launched my Makweni app. Let us all be upstanding and help them in cheering. Thank you very much you may be seated i will request the team i'll request the team to stay on stage so that we transition to the photo uh, moment stay on stage i will ask uh, the media media people could you kindly set yourselves up for the photos the first photo is going to be of uh, his excellency the governor and the Safaricom CEO, so I will ask the rest of the team to uh, kindly step, step aside a bit. Next in line will be the uh, governor and the CEO joined by director PSDT, ECM ICT and ECM Finance. That is actually the most balanced photo uh, we have ever seen, three ladies and three gentlemen without any preference. Next, I will ask the County Executive Committee members uh, to come forward. County Executive Committee members present, come, please come forward. Immediately after the County Executive Committee members, I will ask the Safaricom Executive Committee to be on standby. Safaricom Executive Committee, please be on standby. Your photo is next. Makweni County ICT team, I will ask that you be on standby. Your photo is next, led by Bwanakanunga. Bwanakanunga and your team. Sasa how do you adore your Safaricom? Yeah, that is the executive committee of Safaricom. Camera people. Uh, let us have the county executive uh, committee in charge of ICT uh, with her team. Join in. They join in. I will ask uh, the right honorable speaker 
under some select or we have everyone assembly members okay makweni county department of ict quickly organize yourselves in uh, the photo Let us have the taller ones uh, take uh, the back line and the not so tall like myself take the front line. Uh, camera people are we okay? Yeah, same. Quickly, uh, let's transition. I request that we have the Right Honourable Speaker and the County Assembly members present, including County staff. I've seen the County Director ICT here and the Deputy Clerk. No, no, no. Right Honourable Speaker and County Executive Committee members, Karibuni Sana. Let me have on standby the County Technical Team that was working on, Makweni County Technical Team that was working on this. Before that, let me have the Makweni Finance Team led by their County Executive Committee members on standby. I will request uh, the Right Honourable Speaker and your members to exit using uh, the staircase on my extreme uh, left. County Executive Committee member for Finance and your team. Waziri Finance. ECM Finance and your team. I've seen. Where is the Director of Revenue, Mr. Thiongo? Uh, Waziri, just come. Let us have the Makueni technical team. The technical team that was working on this app from Makueni County. Now not the Department of ICT, the technical team that was specifically working uh, towards delivering this app. I've seen Bosco, I've seen a couple of your colleagues. The developers, the app developers who are working on this. I think they'll be represented by uh, Macau and Bosco and Waziri. Uh, Kanunga, you may join them. I've seen Chief Officer Education. Could you kindly join them? Chief Officer Education. <laughs> Followed. Can we have the Safaricom uh, technical team on standby? They are following in the next photo. Safaricom technical team, please be on the stairs that is on my extreme left. These ones are coming, these ones are exiting. I will ask that uh, the chairperson of the county, Makweni County Public Service Board, and if we have any members present, to be on standby for a photo after the Safaricom team. Dr. Muteti, uh, Chairperson, uh, County Public Service Board, you may be joined by any members or staff, any members of the board or staff uh, from the board.
Jadi Kami jangan lupa makan If we have a representative from the county commissioner's office, you are requested to join uh, Madam P.S. Terimbaika in the next photo. So Madam P.S. kindly be on standby. Your photo is next after Dr. Muteti. I will ask... Uh, Dr. Muteti, Dr. Muteti, the Chairperson, Public Service Board. Now we are trying. Okay. I will ask uh, Madam P.S. Uh, you be on standby. Your photo is next. You may be joined by representatives from the county commissioner's office or any other uh, high-level officers from the national government. I will ask uh, Buana P.S. Uh, Muia, former P.S. Muia. Your photo is next and you will be joined by Mr. Nick Mwendwa. P.S. Muia, be on standby for a photo. You'll be joined by Bwana Nick Mwendwa. The second last photo, the second last photo for today will be Her Excellency, the First Lady, uh, Madam Anita Mutula, right next. Let's have, we have on stage uh, Bwana P.S. Uh, Muia, accompanied by Nick Mwendwa, uh, Chairman uh, FKF. <laughs> Let us have the first lady and then the last, the second last photo will be digitizing devolution. Digitizing devolution. Let me have you on standby. Your photo is next after Her Excellency the First Lady. Digitizing devolution. Let me have the team from Digitizing Devolution on standby. Uh, digitizing devolution. Let me have you on standby. Many thanks, uh, Your Excellency First Lady. Digitizing devolution, you may now plug into the photo. The last photo will be a photo of the clergy led by uh, Archbishop Ndambuki with your team. Archbishop Ndambuki and the rest of the clergy kindly be on standby. Your photo is going to be the last one. For those who may have heard the story about economic blocks in Kenya with regard to the devolution agenda, Archbishop Titus Ndambuki, uh, beyond being a high-ranking uh, member of the clergy, is also the chairperson of the Southeastern Kenya Economic Block, which is called the SEKEB. This is an economic block that brings together Makweni, Machakos, and Kitui counties into one economic block and he's a friend of the county. The gentleman, the very tall gentleman is Major uh, Kasioka. Major Kasioka serves in the Salvation Army. 
Asanteni sana. I will ask, uh, I'll ask His Excellency, I'll ask Archbishop Ndambuki to stay and then I will ask the rest uh, to exit the stage. Archbishop Ndambuki, I request that you come here and give us two words of wisdom and then you give us a closing prayer because we have come to the tail end of this occasion. Uh, Your Excellency, Motula Kilonzo, the junior, Deputy Governor of uh, Makueni, First Lady Makueni, all protocol observed. Uh, I want to thank God for this occasion and say this is a gift to Makueni County in Kenya. In the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6, the scripture says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And I wanted to pick the wisdom in that text as I've been asked to do within a minute and say that during then the custodians of knowledge were the priests. And in that text, God laments because the priests did not execute their duty of sharing the knowledge that they had to the people. And therefore, ignorance prevailed during then. And that is why God was lamenting that he entrusted that to the hands of a people who were not uh, active, who were not faithful, and therefore God wanted them to reflect and see what they could do because the nation was perishing. And I want to look at what has happened here today in Makueni. With your leadership, Your Excellency, and uh, say that instead of Makueni count people perishing, what I would see is a revolution beginning in Makueni, as one of you has mentioned. Because this is a platform which has failed this generation so that they can sit back and think innovation. Because of the knowledge that uh, you have spearheaded today in a partnership with uh, uh, Safaricom. And I want to also thank the CEO, Safaricom, for the good work that Safaricom has done to this nation. And whenever I see Safaricom compared with the other entities or companies in the same market, when I see Safari, I just get an impression of identity. The Safari Kiswahili, without the, 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 the com, uh, reflects an African identity. And therefore, I uh, recognize Safari com as, um, as an identity of our people and our nation as well. Kenya and Safaricom, Africa and Safaricom. And therefore, Safaricom is a, is a, uh, a representative of our nation in the global market in this field. And I, I really appreciate and associate uh, myself and try to connect others with Safaricom because in terms of development, you are number one. And we thank God for you. I want to congratulate uh, Your Excellency and uh, your team because of the good work that you have done. And now I can see and say 
Today I have observed, I have observed something, and this is my personal view, that uh, when we talk of the youth, leadership in this country, then McQueen is also leading, because you are young, and that is why you have embraced professionalism in your county, and I want you to keep it up, because when I listened and when I observed the kind of a team that you are working with, you, are not, you have not selected because they were supporting you in the campaigns. Where many counties have gone wrong, where unaanza kulipa huyu, unalipa huyu, then you get a, a, a team that cannot win a match. I want to say congratulations. I want to tell you to keep it up. And may God bless you and uh, congratulations all partners, those together with Makweni have come to rescue, uh, to rescue this uh, county and to set a model for Kenya and a model for Africa. May God bless uh, Makweni and uh, congratulations the people of Makweni. May we stand and uh, pray. Our Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves before thee because of you who you are in our hearts. You created us in your own image and likeness so that we can continue creating with you in terms of development because what you created in the old days is what man looks and they take, observe, and they conclude to find more solutions in it. And that is why our image and our likeness, which is matched with you, can go to that aspect of development with a people who can understand your mind through science and your mind through the spirit. Now, Lord, we want to say thank you because through the leadership and through that connection of man and you in your kingdom, I bless the people of Makueni with the leadership of his excellency, the governor, and the entire team to work together towards remembering Ukambani especially because this is a model of a region which is dominantly a consumer county and a consumer region. And with this opportunity, I believe that young people will be able to engage in the innovations and then discover more opportunities that would enable them to produce something that they can also sell outside this, uh, this county and outside this region. Home God have mercy on us and bless this program that has begun now and enable your people to, uh, to make sure that they are transparent and accountable before you because you hold them accountable. All of us have a responsibility. Every citizen has a responsibility to play in this county to ensure that all ends meet for your glory and for the glory of the county. Bless us as we disperse to our various places. In Jesus' name we pray. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Many thanks, uh, Your Eminence, Archbishop Dr. Timothy Ndambuki. Uh, you may be seated uh, just as we make the last announcements. Uh, Reverend Dr. Archbishop Dr. Timothy Ndambuki is not one of those funny uh, characters uh, when it comes to religious matters. He's a highly accomplished scholar. He's actually a towering figure when it comes to matters religion uh, in our republic and even beyond.
As we come to the tail end of uh, today's program, I would wish to thank all the partners uh, who have partnered with Makwene County Government towards delivery of the different uh, programs. And on behalf of Her Excellency, the First Lady, I would like to invite all of you uh, for a bit of refreshments which will be served at the back end of the tent. And as we take the refreshments, I will ask His Excellency, the Governor, and the Safaricom CEO to uh, remain on the front side uh, because media have requested for some short interviews to enable them uh, to uh, transmit their stories. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, finally come to the end of the program. You may leave at your own pleasure, but after taking the refreshments. Many thank you. Introducing My County App, an all-in-one app experience for all your county services. One digital platform for 47 diverse and unique Kenyan cultures. Powering growth of county-generated revenue across all the counties. My County App gives you simple access to all your county services with seamless payments. Pay for various county services such as parking, market entrance fees, land rates, and single business permits, among other services. My County App is reliable and accessible 24-7 to ensure uptime and availability of the services across the 57 counties on board. Chat with your governor and give feedback on the services offered. Report any arising incidences within your county. Are you in distress? Easily access emergency services at the click of a button. Discover and immerse yourself in the Makweni County amazing experience of tourism and culture. Jueseshe na my county app. Japo tumia tofauti. <laughs>